cold out. Take a look at this. Old Willie Jeep in the uh, parking lot. We're going to eat at the Island Grill. So this is just a short kind of family trip out here. Uh, the beach is pretty breezy and cool. It's about 62 with a strong breeze. So we're probably not going to do too many beach activities, but we will be eating our faces off. So we're excited to get some seafood. This is the Island Grill in Atlantic Beach. It's a really intimate place. So they're operating at limited capacity too. So there's really only probably room for, I don't know, like 12 people in here. My meal was $14. Brooke's ordering a $14 meal. She'd like to let you know. This place does seem to do a pretty good job with protocols and spacing. staff wearing masks, etc. We've seen quite a lot of reviews at a lot of the Carolina Beach places where that doesn't happen so much, but it's always good to know they're following those protocols. They probably follow good kitchen protocols as well. We are going to get some of that slab bacon appetizer, uh, essentially pork belly on arugula, some ciabatta bread with butter, they have steaks, plenty of fish, shrimp, scallops, crab cakes, etc. But since it's Easter weekend, they are doing a, a grilled mahi mahi and a prime rib special. I'm probably going with the prime rib. I thought they were featuring kids' paintings, but it turns out those are actually local artists or friends that live here. Uh, for sale. For a bit much. <laughs> Cute, though. Enjoying a paycheck pilsner from Full Steam with our dinner. Kids, as always, lemonade, limonada. Limonada, por favor. Te gusta? Si. This bacon slab slash pork belly looks amazing. Bread looks pretty good. I'm not sure what's in the butter. It looks like dill, maybe? Oh, roasted garlic? Never mind. Sign me up. But look, this is so thick. I'm so excited about this. That looks so good. Oh, my goodness. It's good crust on the outside and just juicy on the inside and it melts. That's how you cook pork butt. That is good. Pork belly. Salty, fatty, a little bit of arugula to cut through it. Yeah, I like that. Buttered ciabatta. Spreads really soft on the inside, crunchy on the outside. Butter spreads really easy. Oh, garlic. Getting like earthy. Is it truffle or? Jake got the kids shrimp and a salad. It's ranch, of course. He asked for cocktail sauce, and she said she was going to go back and back and uh, make him some fresh and bring it out. So that was really cool. There's steaks. Steph's, uh, <laughs> I got steak on the mind. Steph's ginormous 
prime rib, asparagus, Yukon gold potatoes, croquette mac and cheese and shrimp, and chef vegetables, zucchini. Yeah, looking good. And my prime rib as well. Oh, wow. You got some au jus, you got some horseradish cream. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. So, the Island Grill. Uh, thought it'd just be your standard kind of overpriced beach place. That was really, really good. Um, service was exceptional. Uh, prices were beach prices. Uh, the prime rib dinner was what, 26 bucks, which I thought was a deal. Uh, a lot of the fish dishes were 30 or 40, so I was pretty happy to get that. And yeah, absolutely love the place, highly recommend it. Island Grill, Atlantic Beach, do it. We also got a little to-go box here that contains not just key lime pie, key lime pie with Oreo cookie crust and raspberry drizzle for the top. We're gonna have that later tonight. We are staying at a place called A Place at the Beach in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina. Uh, pretty unique setup they have here. You have this huge indoor balcony area that leads into all the rooms. Let's take a quick look at the room. I'll be pretty quick, it's pretty basic. This is a really short trip, so we weren't too preoccupied with where we were staying. We just wanted to get out on the beach uh, for a couple days, play in the sand. Water's still a bit chilly, wind's blustery and cold, uh, but still, it's nice to get out here and get some sea breeze. Here's kind of the weird indoor atrium hallway, so you have sand down here, and then the hallway to all the rooms. The giant hallway. I mean, there must be... I don't know, 80 rooms or so, all the way down. It's crazy. And it's just kind of open. Sand down there, skylight up there. Yeah, I haven't seen anything like this before. It's actually too cold to go swimming right now, but here's the main pool area for the outside. Again, they do have the indoor pool. I believe they have a hot tub on the indoor side as well. They have a playground back here. Kids will check out later. And a water slide that they're actually working on right now. So hopefully to have that open for this summer. Nice water slide down into the main pool area. But for us, we are gonna go hang out at the beach. There she is. You saw three dolphins? Where? In the sand? <laughs> In the water? Awesome. Come show me. Just look how massive this beach is. There's Jake. And this is just ginormous. There's our little picnic area. Wow, this is a great day out here. Here we got a bit better view of the main pool area with the slide finishing here. Like I said, they're working on the ramp and the deck up there. Yeah, that would be really fun if it was hot enough. All right, we're off of Atlantic Boulevard at Atlantic Beach. And we're going to go into a little beer garden that's here. We also have a few oceanfront townhomes for sale. Uh, not townhomes, I guess they're separate. But yeah, cute little area, very popular. Lots of traffic, but we're excited to go check it out. All right, the Idle Bar Beer Garden said it was open at 12, but it doesn't appear to be open today. So we'll give them a little bit longer to see if they open up. They actually posted online that they're, <laughs> they sold out last night and they're restocking today, so they're closed for the day. Perfect. I think we're gonna try to stop in here to the Tackle Box Tavern, see what they got. So that place was cash only. <laughs> and no food only uh drinks and we want food and we don't have cash so the search continues we came across the bridge into moorhead city and we're going into tight lines brewery here 
They are open, finally. They're selling a little turnkey brewery system here. Yeah, if you have any interest in some super advanced home brewing, here you go. I'm gonna go ahead and get a table on their outside patio. Perfect day for it. Finally, we have a place that's open with food and we can sit outside on the patio. Sign me up. You can actually see some of the brewery equipment in here. Cool. We are super enthused about this menu. They have a big ass pretzel, literally, big ass pretzel. Bacon wrap beer brought, brought bites, um, Peking duck pot stickers, uh, bang bang shrimp, riblets, wings, smoked wings, nachos, like all the good appetizer stuff. And then uh, their entrees are awesome too. So a large selection of burgers. And then you got your shrimp burger, uh, pulled pork, pork belly tacos. We just had some pork belly last night. Otherwise I'd probably really go for those. And of course a uh, good amount of seafood. Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Man, I'm very happy we came here, but I do not know what I'm going to get. I might just get a collection of appetizers. And Steph's thinking sesame tuna nachos. Oh my goodness. I think the grown-ups are going to be happy. I'm not sure if Jake is. Oh, he's happy. We're good. And of course, beer as well. Pretty standard lineup, but uh, it all sounds good and pretty high gravity, which is always good to see. I'm going with their brown ale and our giant pretzel just arrived. You have in-house Dijon mustard, cheese dip, and crab dip with this thing, and it is a biggin'. Let's dig in. Steph's tuna nachos look really good. Big chunks of tuna and avocado on there. Brooke's already digging into her fried flounder. And Jake's waiting for some honey mustard. He got some chicken tenders, and he's sharing some of Brooke's flounder. And we got my basket of tater tots with my Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Looks uh, like buffalo sauce on there, but we'll check it out and see. So we'll basically call that a chicken breast with some buffalo sauce on it and some pickles. Not quite the Nashville hot I was expecting. I wish there was a little bit more uh, crunch and crust to the chicken. It's a decent chicken breast, but I think could be better. How's the flounder, Brooke? Flounder's really good. Then. What about yours, Steph? That's great. Yeah? I might steal some of hers. Looks really good. So overall, tight line brewing, uh, really good. I think everyone pretty much enjoyed everything we had. Um, my Nashville hot chicken sandwich could have been just a little bit better. It was pretty much just a buffalo sandwich. When I think Nashville hot, I want it to burn enough that I need to, excuse me, can I get a side of ranch or something to dip or an extra drink to keep me cool. Uh, so it wasn't quite there, but uh, Steph's nachos, tuna nachos were amazing. Uh, the kids seemed to like all theirs. Uh, all the appetizers, next time we come here, I'm going to order everything I see there because it just looks so good. But I do recommend it and we look forward to coming back at another time. So, yep. Like climbing through the little hall thing. We're walking up by the indoor pool. Let's peek in the window. And there's a hot tub in there too. Just from peeking in there, it is like 90 and balmy in there. So that pool probably feels great. We decided to go for a little outdoor mini golf. <laughs> mini golf done. Now it's time to relax for a little bit. We actually might go do a little bit of shopping. Shopping! I think the kids want to go buy something at the beach. Beach souvenir. A peach souvenir. We're at one of these giant beat shops and they are bumping some tunes. You guys seen anything cool? No. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing we don't already have. Okay. <laughs> Alright, what are we leaving with, guys? Brooke got a puppy on a surfboard. Looks like our dog, kinda. Whatever. And Jake got a giant water gun. Success! We decided to take a stop at the Crystal Coast Brewing Company. It looks like this place is one of those converted uh, beat shops. Like a converted wings store. That's a great idea to make it into a brewery. Wow, this is pretty nice in here, actually. Really nice lounge area, and then the bar. They have a pretty impressive list, including three guest drafts from other breweries on tap. I'm doing the Maple Porter. What'd you get, Steph? Um, the Crystal Coast IPA. IPA, sweet. It looked like they had an arcade area back here. Which the bartender said they wiped down frequently, so he said he just sanitized it so the kids should be free to play here. Great, and we're the only ones back here. Good timing. Oh, it takes money? I didn't know that. You didn't bring any money? I just spent it all on a dog on a surfboard. What are we hunting? Hopefully man. The most dangerous game. We're not headed out there, but they do have a big outdoor area, fenced in. Seen some uh, well-behaved doggos running around out there. The kids got two frosty orange sodas. Never seen frosty before. But it's been around since 1939. Allegedly. I was questioning what to get, and the bartender recommended the maple porter. I really like maple, but most of the time if I get a maple porter, very light on the maple. This one is not. Uh, I want it on my pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Steph's gonna try it. Smoky maple. What do you think? I get a lot of maple from it. Oh, it's very good. It's got an aftertaste. It's very sweet. Yeah. Oh, but wow. in a good way. <laughs> How's the IPA? Very good. Very good. Yeah. I like this better than the one we had earlier. Oh, wow. I can still taste that maple. <laughs> we decided to venture over to Beaufort. So we're out here by the dock. Uh, right across the way is the island where all the wild ponies run and play. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to go walking around downtown Beaufort a little bit before we head home. Let's go get some coffee. But yeah, the island with the horses, it's called Carrot Island. How fun is that? A croissant and a corn muffin. Unique little kids. We got a coffee, the day can officially start. The kids got green apple smoothies. <laughs> we decided to head over to New Bern on our way home for a nice lunch by the waterside. We're stuck on a drawbridge right now, which is pretty cool. We made it to downtown New Bern. It's a really pretty area. We are headed over to Persimmons on the waterfront for lunch. Looking forward to it. It's a beautiful day. The water looks great. We got our brook with us and our Easter stitch. This reminds me of the uh, boathouse at Disney Springs. I doubt they have any cars that go into the water here though. Just regular old boats. This menu very heavily seafood influenced, which you would expect. Some of the cocktails sound really good. I might actually get just a daiquiri. It's a pretty warm day out. Daiquiri in the sun always sounds like a good idea. I think I'm doing this stuffed fried chicken breast. Apparently 
in New Bern, it's a thing to have a dog in a stroller with a bow and pearls. <laughs> There's a few tables here with dogs in strollers, dogs wearing jewelry, dogs eating at the table. Apparently that's a thing in New Bern to really pamper your pets. <laughs> There's some uh, designer puppies getting some very nice meals today. We have our puppy here. Speaking of the boathouse at Disney Springs, look at this one. This looks like a Chris Craft old wooden boat. Very high end, but uh, it says Barber on the side. I've never heard of that brand, but that's a very, very sleek looking boat. Food has arrived. That looks pretty awesome. My fried chicken. This table is wobbly. Steph got a shrimp burger, which is basically just giant pieces of fried shrimp. That looks so good. Kids, chicken tender and fruit. Wonderful. Beautiful. I am really excited about this guy. That looks amazing. What do we think, Steph? <laughs> <laughs> and mine, I've uh, taken a big bite out of. I actually wasn't sure what the chicken was stuffed with. It's actually like sausage and other blended ingredients in there, and it is really, really good. So crunchy on the outside. Even the kids, uh, even the kids' fried chicken looks really fried and crispy on the outside. Jake says delicious. I might steal a piece of theirs too to go with my chicken. Chicken on chicken on chicken. You like that, Brooke? Chicken on chicken on chicken. Not too crunchy, but not too crunchy. Yeah, some good skin crunch to it. Ah, yeah. Sign me up. We also did try some of their cocktails. I got the uh, Paloma, which is tequila, grapefruit, and some lime juice. Uh, kind of like a classic daiquiri, but instead of rum, a little bit of tequila. And then there's also a creamsicle uh, that tastes just like a creamsicle you would imagine coming from your freezer. And Steph cannot stop eating that <laughs> fried shrimp burger. Looks good. This place definitely gets a recommendation. If you're in New Bern, check out Persimmons on the waterfront. Really good. Right outside of Persimmons, Persimmons, Persimmonies, right outside of Persimmons. <laughs> we found the beach in New Bern. We're not gonna go play on it though, come on. <laughs> Jake is making friends with little ducks. I've never seen like a white collar one like that before. Yeah, it's almost like a penguin. Yeah. It's too hot for penguins just to be walking around. He wants food. He wants food. No. You think food, Yeah, don't tease him. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Sorry, penguins. Maybe next time.